Hello and good morning, Algebra 1 class. Today you're going to be taking notes on factoring when a does not equal 1. Before we um, get right into that topic, I want you to get some, get a refresher on some background information. Please go ahead and multiply out 2x plus 1 times x plus 3. You can use the distributive method or you can use FOIL, whichever you seem fit. Go ahead and pause the video now so that you can work out that problem and then hit play so you can see the solution. So the solution when you FOIL this we are going to take the first terms, the outside, inside, and last terms. I'm going to go ahead and multiply the first terms together and that gives us 2x squared. Moving along our process for O is our outside terms. That's going to be a positive 6x Continuing along with FOIL, my inside terms is 1x. Notice I don't have to write the 1. And last but not least, my last terms, 1 plus 3. So that's FOILed. We still need to go ahead and take that problem and uh, combine my like terms. My OI can be combined. 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Now, as we talked about in class yesterday, we need to be able to go forward and backward. You learned addition, then you learned subtraction. You learn multiplication, and then division. This process is multiplying two binomials, and we've started to delve into that process of dividing polynomials. So if you need a moment, go ahead and copy that down, hit pause on the video. Otherwise, the video will proceed. So you have 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Go ahead and write that down now because we're going to go ahead and do the opposite um, of multiplication. We're going to factor 2x, plus, uh, 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. I'm going to show you how that works. So I got a little bit of wrist stuff there. So 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Now, when a does not equal 1, I told you guys about finding p times q. Um, we have this binomial, and I said, well, this is plus p, and I said this is plus q. And we said p times q, and you had to work with p plus q and find out which p times q equals p plus q. We're going to add two more letters. We're going to add an m and an n mx plus p times nx plus q. Okay, So we're going to get this situation now. When we FOIL this, we have our first terms. This is m times n x squared. Let me go ahead and color code that. FOILing it, m times n that gives me mnx squared. And then I have my outside terms. And that looks like this. Positive mq. And then you have your x. Moving along the process, you have your inside terms. P times n, x, and last but not least, you're going to have your last terms, which is your pq that we've talked about already before. P Q. Okay, so we're going to need to figure out what M is, we need to figure out what P is, what N and Q. So this is going to be a little bit of a process here. We know that when we simplify this whole problem, we get M N X squared plus 
mq plus pn times x plus pq, kind of like we did yesterday in class. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of highlighting here. We know that this is our C term, and that's what this is. We know that this is our A term, and that's what MN is. So there's our two big pieces of information. And then the last piece that puts it all together would be remembering that we have our B term, and that's going to be all of that. So this is really key. Go ahead and pause the video now. Make sure you have all of that copied down so we can proceed. I'm going to go ahead and show my work over here on the right-hand side. Okay, We know that m times n has to be 2. How do we know that? We know that because m times n is the value of a. It's the coefficient of x squared. We also know that p times q has to be 3. Again, how do we know that? We know that because p times q is our c term. We're going to need to find that combination of factors for m and n and p and q that come together to equal our b term. And in this case our b term is 7. That's our b term. So let's look at some factors of m and n. How do I get to 2? I need to multiply 1 times 2. How do I get to 3? I need to multiply 1 times 3. Okay, now we need to put it together to find out what values of B work out best. So I'm going to use a clean sheet of paper. Remember MN is equal to 2 and PQ is equal to 3. MN is equal to 2, PQ is equal to 3, and we said, well, the only way to get mn is 1 times 2. The only way to get to pq is 1 times 3. Now you, need, now you need to do some trial factors to put it all together. Okay, So remember, mn is going to be your first terms. Your PQs are going to be your last terms. So if I have an, a 1x and 2x, that can satisfy my MN. I can also have a 2x followed by a 1x. The problem we're trying to factor is 2x squared plus 7x plus 3. Okay, now we need to put the last terms and we have a positive 1 and a positive 3 and we have a positive 1 and a positive 3. Now I didn't switch those because if I switched it I would have the same exact factors as the first trial. At this point you test it out by oying it. So go ahead and oy it. When I oy this, I need to multiply the outside terms and I need to multiply the inside terms. I get 3x plus 2x. Add those together, I get 5x. Now look back up at the top, what are we trying to factor? We want a b factor of 7. So that does not work. Let's try oying the second one. So my outside terms and my inside terms 
I get 6x plus 1x. That gives me 7x. That does work. So this 2x plus 1 times x plus 3 is my answer, and that's what we had started off with. Go ahead and pause the video now to check out uh, or continue copying down these notes. Otherwise, the video will proceed with example number two. This is example number two. Let's go ahead and try to factor 3x squared plus 10x plus 3. When I factor this, I need to find out what my mn is. I need to find out what my pq is. mn is 3 and pq is 3. mn is that first one. And pq is this last one. They're both positive. Now come up with factors that work out. Well, I've got 1 times 3 and 1 times 3. Pretty straightforward. I have a plus plus situation. This is plus, that's plus, and if that's the case, I know that my binomial is going to be some kind of x with plus plus. Now I need to do my trials. So I have a 1x and a 3x here, and a 1 and a 3 here, and my only other situation would be my 1x and my 3 over here, and my 3x and my 1 over here. The next step in the process is now to oi it. When I oi it, I get 3x plus 3x, which gives me 6x. I oi the second one, I get 1x plus 9x gives me 10x. Which one is the one we want? Well, our b term is 10, and this one gives me a b term of 10, so this is my answer. 1x plus 3 times 3x plus 1, and we do not need to write that initial 1. Just write x all by itself. All right, go ahead and pause the video, copy this notes down, and then I'll move on to example number three. All right, class, example number three. Please go ahead now and try a moment to copy this down and factor. Factor this problem where we have 6 x squared minus 33 x plus 15. Pause the video so you can try to factor it. So here's the solution. I know that mn is 6. I know that pq is 15. I can get to mn by multiplying 1 and 6 and 2 and 3. I can multiply pq by multiplying 1, get to um, pq by multiplying 1 and 15, and 3 and 5. So I have a bunch of different trials I'm going to try out here. I have a minus plus, which means this is going to be a negative negative situation. So the first one is x, 6, and then my pq, I could do 1 and 15. Or I could do 6x minus 1 and x minus 15. So that's one set. You can keep going with your 2s and 3s. You could have 2x minus 1 and x minus 15. So you take those trials and then you try to oi each one. You have 
nothing that actually works. So up at the top, I've got two more trials that I tried out, which we oid, and we can see that the final answer is 6x minus 3 times x minus 5.